Hello guys, welcome back to another session. Today we are going to talk about this new research by Google DeepMind about scaling up learning across many different robot types. Together with partners from 33 academic labs, they have pulled the data from 22 robot types to create an OpenX embodiment dataset and an RTX model. So they have collaborated with 33 academic labs and pulled data from 22 robot types to create an OpenX embodiment dataset and the development of an RTX model based on the dataset. So robots are great at doing specialized tasks, but when it comes to generalized tasks, they are perform very poor. Typically, you have to train a model for each task for every robot. Changing a single variable means that you have to do training from scratch again. But what if we can combine the knowledge of all the robots and create a general purpose robot. So today they are launching new resources for general purpose robots learning. They have collaborated with 33 labs and collected data from 22 different robot types to create an OpenX embodiment data set. And they have released a transformer model called RT1X and they have trained this model on the data set that is created. And it is seen to demonstrate skill transfer across various embodiments. So training a single model on data from multiple embodiments yields. So in this work, they saw that training a single model on data from multiple embodiments leads to significantly better performance across many robots than those trained on data from individual embodiments. They have tested their RT1X in five different research labs, demonstrating 50% success rate improvement on average across five different commonly used robots compared to methods developed independently and specifically for each robot. They also saw that the training on vision language action model that is a new RT2 on data from multiple embodiments tripled its performance on real world robotic skills. So they have developed the tools to collectively advance cross embodiment research in the research community. The OpenX embodiment dataset and the RTX model dataset checkpoint are now available for everyone for broader research thanks to the work of robotic labs around the world that said and helped evaluate the data model in a commitment to openly and responsibly develop this technology. They believe that their tools will transform the ways robots are trained and accelerate this field. So we all know the data sets and models trained on them have crucial role in advancing AI. Just as ImageNet, uh, which was used for computer vision research, helped to propel computer vision research, they believe that this new data set, the OpenX embodiment data set can do the same for advanced robotics. Building a data set for diverse robot demonstrations is the key step to training a generalist model that can control many different types of robots, following diverse instructions, performing basic reasoning and complex tasks and generalize effectively. However, collecting such a data set is resource intensive. To develop this data set, they have partnered with academic research labs across 20 institutions to gather it from 22 robot embodiments, demonstrating more than 500 skills and 150,000 tasks across more than 1 million episodes. The data is the most comprehensive data set of its kind. RTX is a general purpose robotics model. It builds on two transformer models. For the first one is they train RT1X using RT1 model or model for real world robotics control at scale and they train RT2X on RT2 the vision language action model that lends both web and robotics data. Through this they saw that the same architecture RT1X and RT2X are able to achieve great performance thanks to the diverse cross embodiment data they trained on. So they also saw that it exhibits better generalization and new capabilities. To evaluate RT1X in academic universities, they compared it how it performed against models developed for their specific task like opening a door, corresponding dataset, RT1X with OpenX embodiment dataset outperformed the original model by 50% on average. So here you can see all of the tasks it has outperformed the actual models which are specifically fine-tuned for that task. Example kitchen manipulation, cable routing, NYU door opening, auto lab, task agnostic play and mean. So here you can see the robot doing all these tasks. This is one single robot which is able to do all these tasks. So this is a generalized robot. What are the emergent skills in the RTX? To investigate further the transfer of knowledge across robots, they conduct various experiments 
with their helper robots on task that involve objects and skills that are not present in the data set but exist in another data set of a different robot specifically rt2 was three times successful of the previous best model for emergent skills their results suggest that co-training the data with data from platforms imbues rt2x with additional skills that were not present in the original data set enabling it to perform novel tasks so it is able to come up with emergent skills which were not present in the original data set based on this training we can see here move the apple between can and orange so it is moving the apple between the can and orange the other one is move the apple near cloth this is moving the apple from here to the cloth and move the apple on top of the pot so we can see it is able to take the apple and moving on to the top of the pot so rt2x demonstrates that rt2 model was not capable previously including better spatial understanding for example if you ask the robot to move the apple near cloth instead of move the apple on cloth the trajectories are quite different by changing the position from near to on we can modulate the actions to robotic the robot takes rt2x shows that combining the data from other robots into training improves the range of tasks that can be performed even by a robot that already has vast amounts of data available but only utilizing a significantly high capacity architecture responsibly advancing robotics research so now they are asking about ro robotics research is interesting but very early now research shows that potential to develop more helper robots by scaling with more diverse data and better models working collaboratively with the labs around the world and sharing resources is crucial to development of advancing robotics they hope that open sourcing the data and providing safe but limited models will reduce barrier and accelerate research the future of robots relying on enabling robots to learn from each other and most importantly allowing research to learn from one another future re research could explore how to combine these advances with self improvement property of robocat to enable model to improve their own experience another future direction could be to further probe into how different data mixtures might enable cross embodiment generalization and how the improved generalization materializes so this is a very good breakthrough in robotics so they have they were able to crack the generalized robot and this is a first step for improving robotics by using multiple data sets i hope this advances the research in robotics thank you guys bye